In return for opening up this virgin territory, the government is granting us land. But we want freight, not land. So to hasten settlement, we propose to turn these fertile acres over to you and other competent farmers. As the government will not grant patents to us until after the land is developed, I cannot give you a deed immediately. However, this option is your guarantee that after you've properly developed the land, you can buy it for a nominal price. Not more than three dollars per acre. $100 an acre. Well, let's go to Hillman and find out. That's just in case some settlers fail to take up their options. Now that we've accepted title from the government, we can't risk having to pay taxes on any land that's unoccupied. Then this $100 business is just for outsiders. Certainly. Any of you settlers who want to stay, just send your options to my office in St. Louis. Thanks a lot, Mr. Krager. You can't blame us for being worried. First, I want to thank Mr. and Mrs. Davis here for arranging this meeting for me, a total stranger. I'm a lawyer, but my father was a farmer. When I read about this outrageous swindle in the St. Louis papers, I was furious and came straight here to offer my help. It's mighty nice of you, Mr. Sloan, but we ain't got much money. You don't have to worry about my fee, because except for your goodwill, there won't be any. It appears that the railroad had no title to the property at the time it issued the options. It is therefore my judgment that these options are valueless, and the settlers have no rights in the lands which they develop. That is my legal opinion. But my private opinion is that the men who perpetrated this are the dad blamed a set of swindlers still unhung. Pay up within 30 days or get out. That means $16,000, mister. We ain't never seen that much money. You better start looking, old lady. While I'm preparing an appeal, I most earnestly plead with you not to resort to violence, as it'll only turn public sentiment against us. An appeal? What good's an appeal gonna do? By Jingo, I'll fight before they run me off my farm. Yes. What you need is a fighting leader. Who are we going to get? Unfortunately, being a county official, I can't serve. But there used to be a feller back before you come here who fought the railroad tooth and nail for condemning the best farmland for its dangle right away. Then where is he? Who are you talking about? What if I did say it? I was talking too much. But sheriff. Th that's just it. I'm the sheriff. And if he comes back here, he'll be risking his neck, and it's my job to put a noose around it. But by quacky, I'll do it. Maybe I can get rid of that noose someplace. Got paper? Got a pen? Sure. I'll get it out here. Right here, Sheriff. Show them fellas a thing or two by it, Cracky. My name's Carson. I'd like to take up the option on the Davis place. Why, why, yes, yes. I'm Crager, Mr. Carson. This transaction you're speaking of will have to be in cash, you know. $16,000. Yes, I know. Uh, 
I want the deed made out in Davis's name. Davis's name? Charlie Davis is kin to me, and I just don't want to see him lose his farm, that's all. Seems to be all right, Mr. Collins. Get the papers, and we'll make out the deed. reward. If there is that much money. Does he mean me? I've heard tell of Jesse James, but why me? My name's Clint Burns. Look here, Jesse. Are you forgetting I'm the sheriff? Coming to town in broad daylight like this? I ain't forgetting nothing. I never saw you before in my life. Well, I've seen you, so don't make me use this. Come along. Well, I'll go along if you say so, but... Do you mind witnessing it, Mr. Crager? Now, if you'll just get this deed recorded, the deal will be completed. All right, I'll do that. Frigga, Frigga, come here. Look at this. Here, Y74369, and here, Y74369. This is a list of serial numbers furnished to us by the bank from St. Louis. The money that was stolen off the train? Yes. That's where I've seen that man before. That fellow Carson. That was Jesse James. We just got Jesse James. What do you mean, got him? He's locked up over to jail right now. That's quick work. I want my reward. Yeah. Oh. Don't look at me like that, Jesse. When I wrote you, I figured you'd have sense enough to keep out of my sight. What do you mean, your sight? You're as blind as a bat. Let me out of here. Where's Jesse James? Want to see him? You bet I want to see him. Where's the rest of the money he stole off my train? Funny, he didn't tell me. Hey, you sure do seem right at home in this jail, Mr. Quaker. I want my reward. What do you mean, Jesse James? This isn't Jesse James. Huh? Who ain't Jesse James? I ain't. Jesse James was clean shaven five minutes ago. You ought to know that a man can't grow a four days beard in five minutes, you old goat. And who are you, anyhow? I'm Clint Burns, the best poker player in Missouri. Whoever he is, he isn't the man who just brought the Davis farm. Come on, Sheriff, let's get out of here. Uh, you ain't going no place, not yet. Hey, oh, shut yeah. up. You've caused enough trouble already. Besides, I think maybe you're a material witness or something. I knew there wasn't that much money in the world. <laughs> Easy, son. The sheriff's with him. Hi, right, Charlie. Hello, Sheriff. How's things been going? All right. Morning, Emmy. What brought you here, Sheriff? I reckon you know, Emmy. Another cup of your buttermilk, of course. You know a man named Carson? Carson? No, I never heard of him. No? Then maybe you haven't got a deed to this place. You're darn tootin' I've got a deed. Oh, you don't. That's mine. 
Sealed and recorded. And I'm hanging on to it. Now, watch out you don't hang with it. That was bought with stolen money. You know who bought it? Jesse James. Where is he? We don't know nothing about Jesse James. Now, you get moving, Craig, before I lose my temper. It sure was good buttermilk. Sort of takes a bad taste out of a man's mouth. That's right, I see. You got your deed and you got your guns. Keep them both handy when that wolf's around. Bye, Emmy. What are you yelling about? You claim the land was worth $100 an acre, and that's what you got paid for. Well, you better get busy and capture that bandit, or I'll bring some people in here at will. Yeah? Won't be the first time that's been tried, but he ain't never got Jesse James yet. And if I was you, I'd be watching that bank of yours. You may be holding it up right now. Everything seems to be quiet. Yeah, I reckon it is. Where are you going? Going to bed. It's very near 9 o'clock. Wait a minute. I want to take a look inside and be sure. What's the matter, Craig? Are you getting spooky? Sorry to take that. There's only one other like it in the country. Then you better start looking for that other one. Now, if you two just sit tight, nobody will get hurt. I suspicion that. What are you going to do? Just stand there? Nope. I'm going to go let that fella Clint Burns out. Clint Burns? Oh, yeah. Well, good night, Sheriff. I know you can't be in two places at once, doggone it, but I just swore you was Jesse James. I'll give you more than that to swear about if you pull a trick like this on me again. Fine, Sheriff, you are. You ain't even got a gun. Hmm? Why not? Some nights you'll be just a gambler. And other nights you and your gang will be out making every farmer in this county anxious to collect that reward. You mean I'm to do all this burning and shooting so they'll be out to get the real Jesse? Exactly. So long as the sheriff and the rest of these yokels look upon Jesse James as a pastor saint, I can never stop him. You're the one man who can change all that. It's a deal. You furnish the case, and I'll furnish the trouble. Oh, that must be the bank over there. You'd better go talk to him, Polly. I'll see what the sheriff has to say about the famous Jesse James. A week ago, you were complaining you couldn't possibly pay. Now you walk in here with $9,000. Well, it's good money, ain't it? I can't deny that, Gregor. The numbers aren't on the list. They must have changed the money somewhere. As usual. Pretty smart, eh? All right, make out the deed. And what do you want? You walk in here with your pockets full of money, too? Well, is this the bank that was robbed? Any child knows that. But I've gotten most of the money back now. Oh, that's wonderful, Mr. Krager. But how did you manage to do it? He's the sixth farmer that's come in here and bought up his farm with money that Jesse James stole. Oh, that's marvelous. Hmm. Oh, can you prove it, or do I use the word alleged? Of course I can't prove it. Oh, but Jesse James really is a Robin Hood, isn't he? He steals from you so these poor farmers can buy the land that you're trying to steal from them. What do you mean, steal? Oh, I beg your pardon. I mean that allegedly you're trying to steal. Who are you? Oh, Miss Polly Morgan, star reporter of the St. Louis Journal. Of course, it doesn't say star on the card, but... I think it's best to be modest, don't you?
right, Mr. Jesse James. We're heading for the sheriff's office. And don't make me put another notch in my gun. I've too many there already. Well, come on. Come on, boys. I want to see the sheriff's face when Byrne turns up again. Much obliged, Bert. I uh, don't suppose Jesse James will last very long with you around, Sheriff. Well, I aim to do my duty as I see it. Straight from St. Louis. There ain't but one more like it in the country. And where's the other one? Looks like the sort of gun Jesse James ought to carry. Oh, you again. Well, young lady. I suppose you think you've captured Jesse James. I most certainly have, and he was as big as life. Isn't there any law and order in this town? <laughs> Come on, get out of here. <laughs> Don't talk to the sheriff that way. We want to get a story out of him. Oh, he's just mad because he didn't capture Jesse himself. Listen, young lady, I have known Jesse James since before he was born, but... You have? Is he really a Robin Hood? <laughs> or a ruthless outlaw and killer? Of course he ain't. Why, he wouldn't hurt a fly. Unless it was working for the railroad. But this ain't him. It ain't? Of course it ain't. Oh, but look, it... I know it looks like him, but it ain't. Can I go now? Yeah, get out. Good riddance to you. I'll bet you could give us a lot of human interest items about Jesse James. We'll quote you directly, Mr. Sheriff. Your name will be in all the papers. Well, I can tell you about the time Jesse helped me build my fireplace. You mean we could really see that fireplace? Well, I couldn't leave here till evening. Well, that's all right. We could come to dinner. Well, you see... Oh, you mean you're a bachelor? Well... Matter of fact, I am. Strictly by choice, you understand. Oh, why, of course. A handsome man like you. <laughs> but don't you worry about a thing. We'll come and bring the food and we'll cook it. We'll see that our readers get the true story of Jesse James and Sheriff Whitaker. Jesse was only 15 when we built this here fireplace. But he carried them boulders just like they were pebbles. You seem to have been a very good friend of his. You weren't ever a member of his gang, were you? Well, at least I wasn't sheriff sure then. Hey, they made bad-looking victuals for a couple of city gals to cook up. But tell me, how did he happen to come back here, Sheriff? Did I ever tell you how I learned Jesse James how to shoot? Well, sir, it was... All right, Stone, get going. Ryan, Clint, Ruth, Chuck, come on. Look around, boys. You must have some money hid around you someplace. Oh, what's your hurry? Let's tie into some of this grub for it. Look at that big galoose. You can't eat my fried chicken. It's not for the life of you. Oh, go on away. You better get out of here. We're going to burn this place. Well, you can't leave him here. Well, I helped him build it. Then you're Jesse James. I reckon there's no use denying it. Well, then there's another fellow running around here that looks more like you do than you do yourself. What fellow? Well, the man who did this. We thought he was Jesse James. But I know who he is now. That gambler, Clint Burns. 
how do you know this isn't Clint Burns, or Clint Burns isn't Jesse? I, I mean, he could be Clint Burns, and the other fellow could be Jesse, or... Or could he? Well, if this one was Clint Burns, he'd have no reason for saying he was Jesse James. I reckon you're right, ma'am. Uh, I never thought we'd get a story like this when we left St. Louis. You mean you're reporters? Mm-hmm. Then will you do me a favor and be quiet about this? I'll give you the whole story later. But right now, I don't want anyone to know I was here. But we can't do that, Jane. What would our editor say if we held a story just because a bandit asked us to? Well, if the editor doesn't know, won't hurt him. We'll hold it until you give us the word. Thanks. She'll be all right. It'll take more than a little roasting to finish Gabby Whitaker. in the country, mind you. And he's got that one, too. Doggone his ornery hide. Yeah, but he wasn't... He said not to tell anybody. Who wasn't which? Well, he just wasn't. That's all. Where do we go from here, Burns? You ain't going to bed, I can tell you that. This country's going to howl tonight. Jesse James is a mad dog, and we demand a lot more action from you than we've been getting. My boy Sam's about dead, with a bullet in his chest. What do you got to say, Charlie? I don't know. I ain't denying Jesse gave me the money to buy my place with, and now, well, I just can't understand it. That U.S. Marshal in Altoona doesn't know the country, but you do. It's up to you to get Jesse or turn in your badge. I've been out all night with a posse. Maybe you think I've been chasing after butterflies, huh? That isn't what I mean. You and Jesse used to be very close. Now, if you were to lead him to believe you still feel kindly toward him, you might... Are you suggesting that I sneak up on Jesse James with a peace pipe in one hand and a six-gun in the other? Well, I don't do business that way, Mr. Sloan. I ain't denying the people of this county deserve protection. And if you folks will just leave me be, I'll do my best to see if they get it. I believe you, Sheriff. I just don't understand it, that's all. I didn't know they had such elegant music in Hillman. Want to get a fast grill and listen? We were supposed to get a local color story. Well, this is local color, isn't it? Oh, come on. Farmers waiting for you to appeal their case, Mr. Sloan. I'd think you'd be studying law instead of cards. Well, if you don't stop, Jesse, it won't make any difference whether I successfully appeal the case or not. None of my clients will live to get the benefit of it. You needn't worry none about Jesse James. He's going to get his come up runs no later than tonight. Well, uh, we've heard that talk before, and Jesse James still riding high, wide, and handsome. He may be handsome, but he ain't riding by a cracky. Steve tells me he's down with a bullet in his brisket. You sure about that? Sure. Sure, I'm sure. He's laying in an old deserted house down in Long Valley. Most of his gang's walked out on him. 
Uh, cash me in. I, I got to get going. I'm heading for Al Tooney right now to pick up that United States Marshal and his posse. So if you want to see Jesse James in the flesh, come over to the jail tomorrow and take a look. And we thought he was Jesse's friend. Do you suppose he still thinks that it was Jesse who burned his house down? We've got to tell him. We've got to warn Jesse. But we don't even know where Long Valley is. We'll find that out at the livery stable. No, I can't grant an extension. You wouldn't find it any easier to pay up in 90 days. You must have learned that Jesse James isn't going to help you. I'll expect you to be off that farm one week from today. Jesse James has been shot. Are you sure? I just heard the sheriff bragging about it. He's on his way to Altoona right now to pick up the marshal. How many men has Jesse James got with him? The sheriff claims most of his gang has left him. He's hiding out in a deserted shack up in Long Valley. And with that fool sheriff shooting off his mouth, half the town will know about it by now. Some friend of Jesse's will probably warn him. We can't afford to let him get away. Get going. Look here, Crager. If I kill Jesse James, I'm out of a job. You won't need a job with that 10,000 in your jeans. How do I know I can collect it? Now, don't worry. I've got enough influence to see to that. I never saw you hurry after a story so fast before. You sure that Jesse James is nothing but a headline to you? Well, I don't want to see an innocent man captured, that's all. They said it was a deserted house, so I'm afraid we're in the right place. Do you suppose Jesse's lying wounded all alone in there? Gosh, I wish he picked a more cheerful place. Oh, nothing haunted houses bother me any. Oh. Round the house so James can't get away. Doesn't look as if he's even been here. Well, you can't blame him. You couldn't keep me here dead, much less wounded. Oh. Mr. James, <laughs> don't you even limp? Huh? Where's... I don't know how that story ever got started. Nobody's ever managed to put a bullet through Jesse James yet. Well, then why are you here? It's just as good a hideout as any. What are you two doing here? Oh, we came to warn you. Uh, the sheriff's bringing a posse to capture you, and they're due here any time. Yeah? I reckon I can take care of anything that fool sheriff has to offer. Let's take a look around. I'm with you, Jesse. That's Burns' gang. It's time Gabby and the marshal were getting here. I wonder what that buckboard's doing down there. Maybe Burns figures to carry you back in it, so as to be sure of collecting that reward. We're on time. Yonder's the James gang. Fool, I wanted to speak up on him.
got two of them down. I knew we could handle that posse any day in the week. Looks like the posse's taking a licking. If Burns is in that cabin, I'm going to make sure he don't get away. You better pitch in and help the posse. I've never helped the posse before. I don't hardly know how to act. <laughs> Thanks. Let's get out of here. Did you get Jesse? Yeah, come on. Was it Burns? It was Jesse. How can you be sure it was Jesse? I don't know. I, I can just tell, that's all. Say, you're not falling for that Jesse James, are you? Jesse's still in the house. Well, that's Jesse James, all right. But that... After all the gunfights he's been in, you never expect a stray bullet to get him. Mr. Burns. Did you get him? Sure. But that fool posse showed up too soon, and I can't risk trying to claim the reward. Why not? They mistook us for Jesse's gang, and I had to shoot a couple of them to get away. That's too bad. Still, Jesse's dead. That's the main thing. Maybe it is to you, Crager, but I'm out that $10,000. Yes, and Hillman isn't a very healthy place for you now. One of Jesse's old gang is apt to spot you any time. Better take this and clear out. I reckon not. Now that Jesse's dead, his gang will bust up. Any way I like it here. All right. I'll double it. You seem to be very anxious for me to leave, Crager. I just want you to have enough to make a fresh start somewhere else. No. I'm having a streak of luck down at the Double Eagle, and I don't like changing it. See you later. Anytime you have a little more work for me to do, let me know. And all the little stars on high are 
that you've got your big story about me getting killed, I suppose you'd be heading back to St. Louis. Well, I'm afraid I haven't any excuse to stay, have I? Well, would another story do? Only this one's about a man named Krager. Is that why you're posing as Clint Burns? Mm-hmm. Krager's smart, all right, but he must have made a slip somewhere in his scheme. I'm going to find out where. But if Krager should find out you're not really Burns... That's just what he will be finding out if I don't get back to the double eagle. Clint Burns is supposed to be having a run of luck. See you later, Frank. Bye. Hello, Sloan. Hello. Is this what you wanted to see me about? Yes and no. Now that Jesse's out of the way, Clint Burns is beginning to present a problem. I have an idea he's getting too big for his britches. What's the matter? Won't he leave? No, he won't take what I offered him. And when a man like Burns gets the idea that we're afraid of what he knows... So? Burns is a gambler. Maybe he's a crooked gambler. Now, no one would think twice about the death of a crooked gambler. Who's elected for the job? He should be somebody respectable. A man they'll believe when he accuses Burns of cheating. A man like that might be hard to find. Not with you here, Sloan. Me? Why not? You've killed your man before. And it means just as much to you as it does to me to get rid of Burns. But, uh... I'll tell you what I have in mind. Got room for another? Hello, Mr. Sloan. We don't see you in here very often. No, but when we do, we usually win. Three sixes. All blue. I didn't know a man's luck could be as bad as this, if it is just luck. Mean anything but that, Sloan? Meaning that if it's just luck, it's bound to turn. I'll wait a while and see. I'm all in. Run them. Kings and queens. Ten full. That last one came from the bottom, Burns. <laughs> Burns never saw the day he could make a draw like that. Yeah, he never saw the day he'd let a man go when he had him dead to rights, the way he just had Sloan. Everybody stay where you are. Don't make a move. Now then, where's your body? A man couldn't speed up his draw like that all of a sudden. You don't suppose... I've been thinking the same thing. There's never been but one man in this country could draw that fast. Yeah, and maybe he ain't dead. That's right. Why don't you stay here and keep your eye on him? Ruff and I are going to see Craig. You aim to come along, Sheriff? Do I? You think I'd miss a thing like this? Never expected a call from you, Mr. Burns. The name's James, Jesse James. Jesse James? What kind of a joke is this? It ain't no joke. It's plumb serious. Then you're not dead? You're giving yourself up? Is that what this means? <laughs> no, I'm not dead. And I'm not giving myself up. You see, Judge, I might tell you I'm Jesse James, but I reckon you'd have a hard time proving it. That's a mighty neat point. You should have been a lawyer, Jesse. But I don't reckon you'd risk coming here just to put me in a hole. Say, Judge. What happens when a lawyer gets paid by the side he's supposed to be fighting against? I never expected Jesse James to be interested in a point of law. But to answer your question, that would be collusion. And ordinarily would invalidate the decision. Why? Well, we've added things up. And the answer is that Sloan's in with Krager. Sloan? You mean Paul Sloan? We mean exactly that. Why, Sloan tried to kill Jesse here. Who'd be one of them killed but Krager? 
You see, Craig thinks I'm Clint Burns. He made it very clear that he wanted to get rid of me. But have you any proof of this? No need no proof. I'm the sheriff, ain't it? And I'm on my way to grab that Sloan critter right now. You may not need proof just to arrest a man, but reversing a decision is another matter. Sheriff, I'm going along with you. like Burns' old gang is getting curious. I reckon I better lead him back to the double eagle while you go on. It's worth the ride out there anyway. They're tooting it is. You can't get away from us, Sheriff. We've heard about the shooting. Ain't you two going back to St. Louis yet? Are you going to arrest Sloan? I tried to, but you reckon he heard I was coming. You're going to keep after him, aren't you? You ain't going to pry no information out of me, young woman. There's something up. Well, what are we waiting for? I guess it means another ride in that buckboard. But this time, I'll do the driving. Greg feller. Wonder what they're doing here. I don't know. I was figuring on barging right in, but now I reckon the situation calls for a little detectivating. What's this fool story you're trying to tell me? But it couldn't be Jesse James. It must have been Clint Burns that got killed up there. Once we got suspicious, I took a good look at that fellow. I knew for sure it wasn't Clint. No ordinary shot could have outshot me that way. I might have known it was Jesse James. There's a couple of fellows peeking in the window. Looks like the sheriff. Who's with him? Feels mighty like Judge Rutherford. Of course, I couldn't be sure in the dark. Rutherford? You wait here, Mose. Uh, yes, sir. Come here, Baldur. I want you to help me with this. You better take a look at this, too, Greg. I want to be sure I have the facts right. I've heard all the evidence of collusion I need. I wonder what all that writing is about. Don't tell him what Gregor's up to. Come with me. Greg, you and Sloan take the Sand Hill Road. That way we'll cut them off. Oh, they'll catch up with them, sure. We've got to get Jesse. Hang on. Not so bad, I can't fight. We just came from Craig. 
Yeager's house. He and his men discovered Gabby and the judge and started shooting at him. Well, they got away, but I'm afraid they... Where were they going? To Long Valley. You're not following anybody, mister. Who says I ain't? for a year. Yes, and we can't even get a chance to rush them. Somebody will have to climb that rock above them. It's our only chance. Walter, come here. Think you can climb that rock? Sure. But I'll have to go around and come up from behind. Then hurry. Still all right, Gidge? Never felt better in my life. Jesse Jane. Come on, let's get out of here. fast and loose with me, eh? You're under arrest. We want the full details, Sheriff. Give me my book, Jane. You're not going. Well, I don't want to outstay my welcome with the judge here. You mean you're leaving for good? Well, I have a little place back in Nebraska that... Uh... Kind of needs tending to. What are the charges, Sheriff? Mayhem, assault with intent to kill, conspiracy with intent to defraud, and collusion by cracky. Here's all my notes. Maybe they'll help you in writing up the story. Assault, conspiracy, and collusion by cracky. Help me write it? Well, where... Where are you going? To a little place back in Nebraska that kind of needs tending to. Bye, Gabby. You mean you're going away with Jesse James? I reckon you're a little mixed up, Polly. Jesse James is dead. Mm -hmm. 